This is a demonstration of ArduPilot Rover's improved object avoidance feature. Uh, it makes use of the Bendy Kane algorithm, uh, which was developed by the Canberra UAV team uh, for use in last year's Outback Challenge. So as a first step, this algorithm is only making use of the polygon and circular fence, uh, but eventually we're going to extend it to use uh, proximity sensors like 360 LiDAR. So what I have in this test is a M-shaped or C-shaped polygon fence, and I've set up a little mission which crosses over the fence. So I'll first put it into auto mode, and we can see what it does. So it has something called a look-ahead distance. So right now I think it's set to about 30 meters. Yes, so once it sees a barrier um, at 30 meters or less, it will turn to avoid it. And then um, it looks ahead again, another 30 meters, uh, to see if there's any other barriers beyond that. And with basically, you know, looking ahead 60 meters, it looks for the best path. And it works reasonably well um, in cases where there's, uh, you know, a small barrier like, like this out jutting part of the polygon fence. So now it's entered RTL within auto, and you can see again it has successfully avoided this out jut of the fence. So that works quite well. Now it does have some problems though. For example, if I make it uh, drive very close to the edge, very close to a barrier, so I want it to stop just in front of the barrier, it gets a little unhappy and it starts to wobble. And the reason that it's doing this is that it sees the, the fence and it's basically you know, trying to avoid it, but it can't avoid it on its way to the, um, to the object, so it doesn't wobble. We can see some more weaknesses, though, if we load up a more complex fence. This is shaped like a, a number two. And uh, again, it will do fairly well. For example, if I just make it go a short distance, like around a corner. And similarly, it should be able to get around one more corner as well. Okay, but next I'm going to show how it has problems over very long distances uh, where there's large barriers, so very wide barriers. So it might get across, get around the first one, but it probably will not be able to deal with this very wide flat wall. constantly driving around, but it can't figure out that it needs to drive all the way over here to be able to get around this barrier. Anyway, we're getting there, and uh, hopefully in the next iteration, uh, we'll be able to get around even more complex barriers like this.